Hello, my name is John Michael Lee, and today I'm going to show you a great soccer-related game called Four Goal FIFA. To start the class, the teacher should cover all skill cues by doing some lead-up drills and games. The first skill needed for this game is dribbling. Dribbling is how students will advance down the field by passing it to themselves. To practice this skill, the class could do a simple drill using cones. They could dribble up the court, weaving in and out of the cones, and back down in a relay form. The next skill is trapping. Trapping is how students will bring a kicked soccer ball to a stop under their feet. The teacher could cover kicking and trapping by doing a drill where students kick a ball back and forth and stop the ball by trapping it under their foot before it reaches the noodle placed behind them. These drills are going to prepare your class well for the upcoming game for goal FIFA. The setup of this game is very simple. You will need to place four sets of cones at all four corners of the playing surface. These cones represent the four goals for four goal FIFA. It is important to make sure that goals are color coordinated so that both teams have two goals. Also, place boundaries around the goal representing where players cannot block the goal from. In between the two sets of goals should be a standing hula hoop. Four goal FIFA will be played just like soccer. Both teams advancing down the field attempting to score in their assigned goals. But in four goal FIFA, each team will have an assigned goal on each side of the field. So this will provide each team with more scoring opportunities. If a team scores in one of their goals, it is a point. But if either team scores in one of the hula hoops, they can steal a player from the opposing team. The first team to reach either 10 goals or still every player from the opposing team wins. It is important for the teacher to have equipment such as pennies for students to swap over once they are stolen by the opposing team. And also, pennies will be used to help clearly separate the class into two separate teams. An important rule for this game is that there is no goalies allowed. Defenders can only defend from in front of the goal boundaries. One good way to modify this game to help improve maximum movement would be to add a soccer ball or two to the game. It may look like madness, but it will be a blast. 